Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is on BSL Aid Runner, so like Blade Runner, another particular BSL map, which looks almost Talcross esque. Uh, anyway, upper left hand corner we have Urk Father starting as the yellow turn. Bottom right hand corner we have Space as the, I want to say, Slate Gray Protoss. Um, yeah. So apologies, I said Father had withdrawn. He actually has gone into the loser's bracket to play against Space. And we'll see how these games progress. And on the final match of this grouping, I will clarify everything all the way across. But enjoy these games. In the meantime, enjoy BSL. This is again, BSL Hasu League round of 16, group A of season 11. And again, I have really, some of the matches particularly from this group, I've gotten lucky, have been fun to watch, in my opinion. And BSL at large, particularly the top level play where you see Bonneth and DeWalt and Oyaji and all those guys, and Jayun, I always root. Jayun oftentimes will make it up there and I oftentimes will root for Jayun and I'm like, come on, pull it together. Um, it's really fun matches. And I highly recommend donating to them and checking it out. Anyway, getting to the match, we have Father who's gonna, gone ahead and built an interior base Supply Depot, he needs to do this because this is a map, again, without a ramp. And this is, again, yeah, it reminds me of kind of Talcross-ish sort of things. This is going to disrupt where he can place his, command, his commsat station, but he will be able to run Marines back and forth just in case there is an initial Zealot being built from space, which is a very popular thing to do. Just, it's always been popular in Brood War, but I feel like it's in particular been popular as of late because of the strength. I don't know, I feel like... There's just kind of vibes of the meta. And what I've seen a lot of Terran players do just out in space is go for some a lot of those FD sort of builds. A lot of the early pressure on Protoss. I don't know the reasoning of all of that. Looks like we do have a very quick gateway plus plus sell it and immediately three probes and gas. Father moving out his SCV. It looks like the probe taking the lower route. And there's the cool BSL in the map. So you know it's a BSL map. And... Uh, Looks like that SCV is going to scout upper right-hand corner first. So first scout's going to come out from space. I think that was an earlier probe scout altogether, though, on the first marine out. We do have three SCVs on gas and another supply depot. I like that supply depot positioning as well, so the Zealot can't just kind of run back and forth or whatever not. Uh, and that probe going to have to run for its life. Cool little morphing lurker eggs with the arrow letting you know that they should go forward. And there's that first Zealot making his way, doing the wide walk across the map. Look at that. They walk with such confidence and flair. Love them zealots. Cybernetics core is up, so I assume we are going to, but no additional probes pulled off gas. So we'll see if it's more of a tech pushy build rather than an early nexus. There is the first Dragoon being produced and the SCV still making its way uh, to scout. And now we have a bunker on the low ground, but this bunker is not gonna be up. So it's gonna be a zealot and, and a probe versus two Marines working against that SCV to try to disrupt that bunker being built, but uh, is Father going to be able to micro this? Second SCV coming off the line to try to cope with this. Father really wants to win this. This is a dangerous situation. Keep in mind, because... Uh, oh, loses one Marine. He's going to end up losing the second on the, the ramp. Zealots do not care about high ground. Second Marine down. Father having a lot of trouble dealing with this. SCV trying to linebacker. No second Zealot. Okay, now we're seeing a, seg or a Dragoon moving up, but this is very delayed. Now the Marine getting the protective cusp the protective enclosure of the main base, and that should be it for this zealot, but it managed to get two kills, plus a bunch of scouting information, which makes him well worthwhile. Bunker is now up, and two marines should be able to slide in there. And the Dragoon should be able to harass. We'll see if we, we do have range about halfway finished, which means this Dragoon is going to be able to do that extra annoying damage. And that delayed that command center by a significant margin. I think that SCV got plenty of scouting information. We'll go ahead and... T uh, Take off, yeah. So actually, maybe not. So that's as far as he got in. So he, yeah, you got a good scout into the base. Got a good look at everything that's happening. Nexus being plopped down along with a pylon and that Dragoon trying to chase down that SCV that just has 10 health. Barracks moving forward and that will open up uh, positioning for combat or things like that. Mines being researched with vultures and a star port. So we're gonna see a drop from Father. So he's gonna go for maybe feeling like he's I'm not sure if this was the plan for the start or if he's feeling like, you know what, this is a map that has wide open spaces like this. There's the high ground advantages in, in an odd spot back here. We're not usually blocking. So maybe we go for that. But that first vulture that was going to be critical uh, is getting pushed back. And this is actually a dangerous situation because you have Dragoons with range. No siege tank. 
this is a very delayed siege tank because that vulture was produced first and what that means is a lot of free damage from these dragoons and actually he's a little bit lucky that we're not seeing additional dragoons coming across this map robotics facility being produced because you need one scv per dragoon that's firing at this bunker to keep it up and oh did they complete rep okay yeah for, for a second there it looked like father completed the repairs so he wasn't quite aware plopping a preventatory mine or two just in case the dragoons were going for a run by which is uh, as dangerous as it is effective sometimes um, I do feel like the mines are one of those things in the Terran technology bank where it's like, you know what, we really don't care about our troops one iota, so let's just have these things trigger. Like, how hard is it to put in, in the whatever century this is, to put in technology that says, you know what, if our units are nearby, maybe don't explode all over them. But I guess these guys are prisoners and everything else, so they don't care. I'm curious if Space has a concept that this is coming, because he did see that vulture, he did see mines. He has an observer, which is not going to completely negate the effectiveness of those mines, but it is going to blunt their ability to just be completely annoying and kind of the plop down. So basically, Father gets in base and he can plop down mines. Any units that are spawning immediately could get hit by those and that could cause one of those nasty explosions. But he is going to be able to see those mines as they're being planted, when they're already planted and kind of move across them and clear them out. Looks like the Dragoon's actually pulling back now that tank's on the front door. Uh, there's that Dragoon that got the SCV kill. He's a hero. Unfortunately, though, this first Observer is moving its way across the map. Second Observer is in production. So we'll see how effective this is. I think it's going to come down to, and this is a lot of Dragoons to deal with this. I don't think this drop is going to be effective from Father, unfortunately. And that was a significant resource investment from him, which I think is going to give space... Oh, let's see if this Observer stays there. More Vultures kind of sneaking by. That might be a little bit of a distraction. Now they're plopped down. Only, oh, is he going to get the dropship before it gets there? Okay, dropship low on health, so these vultures are stranded. Got, did he get any SCV kills? That's the, I think he got one, maybe two SCV kills, or probe kills. Might get a probe kill there. Two probe kills from here. Getting one mine planted, but I got to say, really well cleaned up by space altogether. Trying to sneak some more vultures across, and that is going to, the one thing I do like about this so, okay, he lost, I think he lost, oh, never mind, dropship's still alive. Has a little bit more health, just two vultures gonna try to sneak across and plop in the main. I almost feel like this is a better area to come from all the way because of the reinforcement locations rather than from the south. But I guess Father was hoping to get some units across the natural. Gonna be able to sneak in once again, get some additional probe kills, and he needs to to make this worth it. Three, got four, and he's able to disrupt the gas. Okay, I like this play now from Father, and I feel like he's actually starting to, this is now paying off for itself able to sneak back into it with the follow-up drop so if at first you do not succeed try try again plus critically he's going to be able to see this templar archives and a gateway being plopped down which suggests arbiter tech um also dark templar all the things he needs to be prepared for so not only did he get the value from the drop where he was able to do a little bit of economic disruption and he's actually got a decent economic lead keep in mind you want to be one base ahead or at least close to one base ahead Looks like these two Dragoons getting pushed off by significant force from Father here. And running across my... Ah! Yeah, getting wiped out. So Father, I feel like in a commanding position now. Because first of all, he knows the tech that's coming. Second of all, he's going to get an expansion up over his opponent. Third, he's got a... Ooh, well, he's got a significant force to work with. This is a lot of Dragoons, though, and an Observer. We'll see if there's enough Siege Tanks to deal with this. This is a wide open area, and I feel like if space... Well... The thing is, is, I don't think Space has any way to know right this second that he might be able to sneak in and pick off some tanks, is the problem with this. Plus, there's mines in the way that would slow down and give Father an indication that he should get a move on. But, overall, so I digress. Overall, I feel like Father in a pretty solid spot. Those vultures and their potential harassment, I think, are making Space feel like he's a, he's got to take this mineral only rather than risking... One of these more one of these gas bases where there's possibility of vulture run by things like that. Two mines just sitting there being annoying in this base. Also, They're gonna that's potential problems later. Tribunal is up. Are we going to see immediate arbiter built? More zealots being built. There's the arbiter. So basically, what we're gonna what's gonna be critical from space sitting on two base and building an army here is getting some sort of drop, some sort of big attack where he can just sneak something. Looks like an empty dropship making its way to the upper right-hand corner. I think this is almost just for scouting purposes. I'm wondering if this is intentional. 
seeing the big BSL tag, just wanting to make sure that there wasn't a ninja expansion taken. Observer out there for space, so he's going to be able to see that that force being built. And I'm almost wondering, like, this is kind of a thought with a dropship. You can almost treat a dropship like a gigantic observer, but keep in mind, okay, the, you comsat as well. I mean, that's the purpose of comsat, right? You don't have to spend a unit. You can shoot things out. But I like that idea of, like, everything Terran being uncloaked equivalently and being gigantic. So where you have an observer on one side for Protoss, you have the dropship being your scouting piece because you know science vessels too valuable got to keep the elite scientific class in its uh, proper protective encased shell anyway i'm not sure where that rant was going space setting up to once maybe take that three o'clock base which would give him a spot where he might be able to economically recover additional gates being plopped down he does have that arbiter almost finished which will give him aside from being uh, a weapon will also provide him a little bit of comfort a little bit of defensive posturing. Um, but still, overall, I feel like Father, economic advantage. He's got a huge army. He's actually starting to peel into that weapons one timing that he could just push across the map with. And just sitting on two base, I don't know. Honestly, if Father moves out with what he's got right now, uh, with that level one weapons kind of standard switch timing from Terran, I don't think Space, once again, has enough. And he, he faltered against this exact same sort of timing uh, against Sone, I believe on Overwatch was the map. Planting a few defensive mines. And, but the other thing with this for Father is he doesn't even need to commit to an attack. He can just either run up and disrupt the third, or the fourth, I should say, with his army, or he can just establish additional bases, play the long game, and end up winning from there. I like how he's slow pushing this. A single observer moving across the south base, so it's not going to see any of this army, but he's being very careful, very methodical, planting a bunch of mines, and then moving the rest of his army forward. There is an Arbiter here. We do have a High Templar. Psystorm is not finished just yet, though, so this is going to be a big engagement. And then no high ground advantage. Sea Chank's a little bit delayed, but this is a huge army pushing this back. And an High Templar got picked off before it was able to launch a Psystorm. That is critical. So Father going to be able to take this high ground advantage. Continuing to comsat though. He does not have any latent detection otherwise. So he needs to be careful spending it. And if he's going to do that here without the siege tanks for support. He needs to have more. Oh, Vulture sneaking in from behind though. Going to pin this entire army down. And a continued rain of comsats going to wipe the rest of this army off. He is going to be able to pick off these high Templar before the storm again. And once again, Space not able to stop. The Terran Onslaught, plus we have Goliath moving up. He was able to stasis a few of these tanks, but honestly, too little too late. He needed that stasis much earlier. And this is still an overwhelming attack force. There's GG. Yeah, that army just got obliterated. So well played by Father. And we will move into game two of the loser's bracket. And apologies for the confusion as far as the withdrawal and everything else like that. Again, I would hope to clarify at the end of the losers match. But thanks for hanging out with me uh, and listening overall. A little bit rough as we're going here, but first in their first BSL match debut. Nevertheless, thank you for listening. <laughs>